The universe is a vast mysterious place encompassing everything we've ever known observed or could ever hope to come into contact with. For millennia a look up at the sky our window into the cosmos beyond our world was met with wonder or and a fascination with the unknown. Thanks to all the scientific advances made by civilizations across the globe we now know that the points of light in the sky are stars found grouped together in galaxies which cluster together on the largest scales in a universe that began with our Big Bang a finite amount of time ago 13.8 billion years. However knowing that doesn't mean we know everything. In fact the more we learn about the universe the more we realize it is not what we expected. Throughout history our understanding proved to be wrong and surprises never seem to end. Accordingly the experts are confronted over and over again with entities and processes that take known conclusions to absurdity. This includes an equally interesting and puzzling spectacle that scientists recently uncovered in an alien galaxy. What makes this new discovery so confusing and what questions does it raise all this and more will be discussed in today's episode. For as long as humans have roamed the earth we have sought to find our place in the cosmos. From the city-states of ancient Greece to the soaring capstones of the Egyptian pyramids across the deserts and towering mountains of ancient China down to the rolling plains of Mesoamerica humans have sought to understand how the universe works. They developed mathematics to trace the motions of the planets estimated the circumference of the earth by walking from city to city created star tables and timekeeping devices and even recorded celestial events like Halley's comet supernovae and eclipses. With time we have refined our models of the universe. Using ellipses Johannes Kepler reconfigured celestial motions Galileo revolutionized Copernicus heliocentric model of the solar system by discovering that the sun not the earth is the body around which all other elements of the solar system orbit Isaac Newton developed the theory of gravity which was later supplanted by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. Discovery by discovery we paint in the gaps of the picture of our universe and yet somehow with each brush stroke that image morphs evolving into something ever changing new and unrecognizable. The universe that Kepler Galileo Copernicus Newton and even Einstein understood is different from the one we know today. Today's understanding of the universe is unsettling. It is not one that fits in a tidy little box with neat lines and a perfect lid. Our universe is mystifyingly complex, it defies expectations. For starters our universe is not a static enclosed entity. Our universe is expanding from everywhere all at once. The fabric of spacetime is stretching away from everywhere else like an inflating balloon carrying galaxies along with it. Photons traveling the lanes of the cosmos are stretched along with spacetime their wavelengths growing ever longer or redder thus redshifting with the expansion of space. Our universe ISNT expanding into anything. To our knowledge there is no extra dimension around the universe rather space itself is expanding causing the space between galaxy clusters the largest gravitationally bound objects in the universe to get bigger and bigger with time. And this leads us to the following unsettling conclusion, there's no center to our universe. Everywhere is the center because everything everywhere is moving away from everything else all at once. But the universe ISNT just expanding it's accelerating. With each passing moment an unknown repulsive persistent force dubbed dark energy is stretching the fabric of the universe. Dark energy is a fundamental property of space itself, invisible smooth and constant and yet we are entirely unsure what it truly is. And then there is dark matter the invisible clumpy matter that binds galaxies together. In many ways dark matter is the corollary to dark energy. Where dark energy stretches space apart dark matter knits matter together. They are both invisible neither interacts with radiation or light and yet they are ever present, dark matter acting as the cosmic glue for large-scale structure formation and dark energy a principal ingredient in the universe's evolution. The afterglow of the Big Bang known as the cosmic microwave background is imprinted on the fabric of space-time a relic of radiation from when the universe was extraordinarily hot dense and smooth. By mapping its bumps and irregularities and comparing them with galaxy surveys scientists have found that 70% of the universe is made up of dark energy while 25% is dark matter. Just 5% of the universe is ordinary matter. The remaining 95% of the universe is stuff that we can't see and don't yet understand. As such despite everything we've learned about our universe there are many existential questions that remain unanswered. We don't know if our universe is finite or infinite in extent, we only know that its physical size must be greater than the portion we can observe. 
We don't know whether our universe encompasses all that exists or whether it's only one of many universes making up a multiverse. And we remain ignorant about what happened in the earliest stages of all in the first tiny fraction of a second of the hot Big Bang as we lack the necessary evidence to draw a robust conclusion. But one thing we are certain about is that the universe has an edge, not in space, but in time. Because the hot Big Bang occurred at a known finite time in the past 13.8 billion years ago with an uncertainty of less than 1% there's an edge to how far away we can see. Even at the speed of light the ultimate cosmic speed limit there's a fundamental limit to how far back we can see. The farther away we look the farther back in time we're able to see. And now thanks to our best measurements of the part, we can see we're finally figuring out what lies beyond and how much of it we will someday be able to perceive and explore. But before delving into the unimagined object in space you first note that when astronomers talk about the universe they almost always mean the observable universe. The word observable does not refer to the capability of technology to receive signals from distant galaxies or even if there is anything out there to be detected but rather it is a limit based on the speed of light itself. No signal can travel faster than the speed of light meaning that there is a maximum distance since the start of the universe beyond which nothing could have been detected. There simply hasn't been enough time for light to reach us. This distance is called the particle horizon which is analogous to the event horizon of a black hole. The universe can be assumed to be isotropic in all directions which means that every location has its own observable universe when considered as the center or observer. When the world's most powerful space observation tool the James Webb Space Telescope focused its sharp infrared eyes on deep space it detected a galaxy called Jade's GSZ 13.0 found in the constellation Fornax. Jade's GSZ 13.0 is amongst the furthest known galaxies from Earth ever discovered and is at the edge of the observable universe. Due to the isotropic nature of space if you were an inhabitant of this fairly small galaxy the Earth would be at the edge of your observable universe. The light from Jade's GSZ 13.0 was observed to be about 13.4 billion years old less than 400 million years after the Big Bang when the universe was only 2% of its current age. In fact the observation of this galaxy so soon after the first stars were born presented a challenge to certain theoretical models of galaxy formation. One might expect that this age would mean that Jade's GSZ 13.0 would be 13.4 billion light years away from Earth however the actual distance to the galaxy is 33.6 billion light years. How can this be if the age of the universe is roughly 13.8 billion years surely there hasn't been enough time for light to cover such a distance. The difference between the so-called light travel distance and the actual distance is due to the expansion of space-time. Imagine two dots on a deflated balloon each. Representing a galaxy. If we inflate the balloon we would observe the dots moving apart. The rubber of the balloon represents space meaning the very medium in which the galaxies exist expands. Edwin Hubble observed galaxies moving apart and indeed galaxies further away from Earth appear to move away from us faster than galaxies which are closer. Hubble used the analogy of raisins in a loaf of bread which is more accurate than the balloon example as space expands in three dimensions rather than two. Another important effect of the expansion of space is the effect on the wavelength of light. If we imagine a dashed line slowly traveling across the balloon between the two dots it will get longer as the balloon expands. This is the same thing that happens to light as it travels, its wavelength increases. The increase in wavelength and a corresponding decrease in light's energy is known as redshifting. It is by measuring the redshift of light from distant galaxies that we can derive cosmological distances. All this means that in the time it took for light to travel from Jade's GSZ 13.0 to Earth the distance between the two points in space has greatly increased. In fact the distance from Earth to the edge of the observable universe is roughly 46 billion light years. The observable universe will continue to expand as time progresses but interestingly we will be able to see fewer and fewer objects. The universe is expanding faster than the speed of light and so galaxies at the very edge which we can see now will in time become more and more redshifted until they disappear and we will no longer be able to receive signals from them. It has been calculated that the Andromeda galaxy our nearest neighbor will become our only observable galaxy in a trillion years. Before that however it will collide with the Milky Way to form Milkameda. 
In another galaxy about a million light-years from Earth called IC1101 the Hubble Space Telescope detected a supermassive black hole emitting the telltale jets of particles from its poles. The jets were about 12 billion years old and we can observe them now due to their redshifted radio emission. It is thought that galaxies around this time in the early universe formed at an accelerated rate in what has been called a cosmic dawn the jets of a supermassive black hole appear to be so bright because of the immense energy required to accelerate matter to near light speed. One question however remains unanswered. If a black hole's jets form an accretion disk of infalling material which does not yet have enough mass to fall into the event horizon why does the matter not end up falling into the black hole? The answer to this was suggested by the Belgian theoretical physicist Georges Lemaitre in 1933. He postulated that our universe is expanding which means that space is stretching and the black hole is moving apart from its accretion disk. The disk is falling behind the black hole due to the expansion of space. The effect of this cosmic expansion and the fact that the disk does not fall into the black hole is a realization of the phenomenon known as cosmic drift as the universe expands light travels across the ever-stretching void and becomes redshifted. Eventually the disk will drift away to the point where the black hole can no longer exert enough gravity to consume it. Instead it will be accreted into a larger structure such as another galaxy. This makes perfect sense when we consider that the amount of matter in the universe is constant meaning that the observable universe would have had a much larger density in the past than it does now. The stretching effect of the expansion of space allows galaxies to form more quickly than current models can predict. This is the unsettling conclusion of all of our observations so far. The universe is not a self-contained static entity but rather an ever-expanding tapestry that defies our expectations and is more complex than we could ever imagine. So while the James Webb Space Telescope has been able to reveal a galaxy at the edge of the observable universe and black holes that appear to defy our models we must remember that these objects are merely the beginning of the mysteries that the universe holds. There are likely to be many more surprises and perhaps even entirely new physics that we have yet to uncover. In the meantime we can marvel at the wonders that our current technology has unveiled and look forward to the many more discoveries that await us in the vast expanse of the cosmos.